Good morning everyone, welcome to Deep Side Photography. Today's with the Restorate again, and if uh, you should keep the optical glass in while using the Star Zone and Filter Draw. So it's gonna be not uh, it's gonna be quite in depth, hopefully a short video, and uh, we'll find out if we uh, can use the glass or not while using the um star zone and filter draw, the filter draw and not the filter the filter holder. been um, quite a bit of debating online and on forums and stuff like this whether the uh, optical glass should be kept in while using a star zone filter draw. The star zone filter draw is obviously for the restorate, designed for the restorate with the correct back focus and <clears throat> and uh, obviously star zone have said to keep the glass in while the rasa says if you use any filter systems to take the glass out. And obviously this caused conf confusion and confrontation. Um, Apparently, Star Zone have changed their mind and uh, said no, take the glass out. So what I've done is I've taken two nights worth of exposures, one with the glass in, and one with the glass out. And when I mean glass, I mean this part of the Rasa. So this bit of glass here, this tiny little bit of glass here. Should we keep that in? Should we keep that out? So what I've done is drop my mount down like that, because why the hell not? So. What I've done is taken two nights of exposures with this glass in and one with glass out, and we're going to compare the photos. So I've done a bit of reading in the background, and uh, on the Star Zone website, and on any website which uh, generally sells the um, the Star Zone filter draw, uh, it says to, to keep the glass in there, but the Star Zone filter draw is designed to have the glass kept in place. Now there's two filter systems for from Star Zona for the Rasserate. There's a Star Zona filter drawer and there's a Star Zona filter holder. These are two very different um, parts. The filter holder, as it's, and it does say this on the side, is that the filter holder requires you to remove this bit of glass. As the filter drawer says you can keep it in. It's designed for you to assume you're going to, assume you're going to keep this glass in. <coughs> So there's a slight difference on there. Obviously the filter holder will just hold a filter in place with backspacing, whatever backspacing you use. It's designed for the field gun, uh, cameras which don't have the uh, adequate back focus for the star zone and filter, filter draw. So the filter holder is a, um, a smaller compact item, screws in, in inside here. And what it does, it sits in there apparently. You put the camera over the top of it, you can't change the filter, it is in there for the entire time. Whereas the filter drawer is designed so you can change filters during the night if you choose to. Uh, obviously this also comes with correct back focus, as I said. This comes with advantages if you want to use mono cameras, etc. Which uh, for the rest of it, I intend to use hopefully soon. But at the moment I'm using a colour camera. So we're going to uh, go into depth on detail on this glass here. Do we need to remove it? Can we keep it in there? Um, obviously, I've done two nights of exposure. I'm redoing this picture apart, so it's, um, I already know what's going on with it. But it's quite inter the results were quite interesting. Um, there wasn't much of a difference, to be honest, well, from what I found and what I saw, but there was colour difference. But um, what we will notice, though, is, um, as I've said uh, in my review of the Rasa, uh, this got replaced uh, by my company I brought it from. And this one has still got the star halos on it as well. Um, it's a different subject, doesn't matter. But what, it has, what I have done is on the first one without the glass, I don't have my correction uh, ring, which is a bit, bit of cardboard cutout, spray black PVA. So it's like, uh, it doesn't flay onto the, actual, uh, onto the actual primary glass. So, and what that does, it, it, it removes the star halos makes the stars a little flary, the larger stars flared a little bit, but not as bad as the halos. It, remo it removes the halos, makes the pictures a, a lot better. So what's happened is uh, I didn't, I used the, the ring on the, the picture, pictures with the glass in. 
and, and the ones without the glass, I didn't put the ring in there because at this particular time, I didn't know the rasterer was going to be at fault. So, so yeah, this is um, obviously going to be the comparison of literally just for the glass only. What for, I'll describe it in the picture in the actual um, video as well when well, I'm editing it. You'll see what I mean. Uh, there is flares on one of the pictures. Um, so parts of it were ignored, mainly because the stars were quite bad in certain um, in two two parts of the pictures. So I done the pictures on AC fifty seventy, which is the Pelican Nebula. Obviously, you've got the two very bright stars in the middle of the Pelican Nebula. Uh, on one of the pictures, the stars are fine. On the pictures with the glass, the stars are flared. And when I removed the stars to edit the actual picture. Uh, obviously it's left half this flaring in there because the software thought it was nebula and so when I've uh, gone to process it the stars just literally got destroyed so we're going to ignore the stars on that particular point this is solely to see if we can use this glass with or without the star zone filter the star zone is a fantastic filter draw it's a great addition to the, um, the RASA 8 it gives you the back, correct back focus to what you require for cameras with a 6.5 millimeter from the lens to the flange um, what this means is stars will go onto the camera itself go straight onto here you're running straight away it's absolutely fantastic designed to work for cameras uh, like i said with 6.5 millimeters from lens to flange uh, it doesn't work with uh, cameras above the 1600 so i believe it doesn't work for the 2600 2400 and I believe the 2 Series and the 6 Series as well. So it'd be the 6200 as well. That won't work for that one there. Anything with a 6.5mm uh, focus on the actual camera itself, the filter draw will work fantastic with it. Um, it's a great addition to the scope. Um, and so it's not a negative part on that one there. We're just going to find out if that glass needs to be in or if it needs to be uh, in. There's the end pictures um, from left to right. Now the glass out one, uh, I think these this star here is tell tale of the uh, halo issue with this rasa, but this one here is really really distorted, um, and in processing it didn't fully remove the star, and I, it mistook it for a nebula, which is why I think it was. Um, really badly distorted but overall picture wise um the one with the glass in is a far far superior picture by a long shot absolutely much much better picture if we ignore these two stars completely just ignore the stars but on both pictures like that and of course concentrate on the overall picture itself this one has a lot more blue 
uh, whereas this one it's more of a grey colour and the and the blue doesn't show up on the, um, the colour saturation so if we go to colour saturation let's just reset that we need to, it's not we're not doing much in it if we go like this it will show you where the colour is so you can see all the all the blues are shining through the blue 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 if we come to the other side so it's showing it as like a reddish colour there was a little bit of blue in there see it just flick it every so often but all this is showing in the orange so it's missing a lot of the blue from the overall picture itself so i feel this one here is um with the glass in is a much better picture um for for Ressa 8 um for the Ressa 8 and the star Arizona filter draw uh keep the glass in thanks for watching guys and hopefully sure it's might have been a bit longer than I expected, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.